Welcome to my Kimmy Golf. So today we are doing something a little bit different. So we are doing some kettlebell drills. So just picked up two just recently, which I feel are very effective. I wanted to share from TPI. So when I was doing my power level two course. So uh, before you do this, just make sure if you've got a personal trainer, you've got a strength coach, physio, just check that this is all okay to do. So right, so number one is all to do with the hip hinge which a uh, kettlebell is very good for anyway. And then this is just doing it slightly different. So rather than going the traditional between your legs, this is going either side of the legs. So this will help with the upper rotation as well as your hip hinge. So you're getting your normal hip hinge in and then you're trying to stay fairly centered and you're getting the rotation of the top half as well. So you're getting that hip hinge in and you're getting the rotation at the same time of the top arm. So very effective on that front. So when you're driving through and the kettlebell's going back, that's helping with the rotation of the top half. So that's going back and then you're powering through the bottom half, back, and that's the rotation again, up. So that's that hip hinge with the drive forward. So great combo for golf there. Next one is the lateral move. So this is helping with our early extension also getting a lot more force in that lead leg and that ground to push through so this is doing it laterally so you can, if you use a heavy weight you're looking at more power so that's a strength of a combination of speed and strength if you go a bit lighter with the kettlebell then that's picking up some speed so you're trying to do it with some energy there so just gradually pick it up and you're using that front leg to really power it through and you're not getting that early extension because if I was early extending then I would basically be falling on my face so that is really helping with that move so if you have a tendency to drive into the ball too much then this is a very good drill for you so I think combining those two like I said speak to your strength coach personal trainer physio Make sure you've all warmed up, make sure you're okay to do that so no, no injuries are occurred. I just wanted to share that with you so you can then share that with your trainers and then put that into practice and I think it makes a big difference to your golf game. Getting used to the ground, getting to the hip hinge, helping with the rotation. Great combo.